my trading method part 28 and then from the last episode we saw that we had this in a row right so <clears throat> 84 and 87 is 7 and 3 is 10 so that is 91 and 8 is 1 71 so 271 plus 4 is 3 10 3 11 3 12 plus 1 Three twelve plus nineteen is three twenty thirty one plus nine is three forty three forty four forty five forty six three forty six and here you see give it back three sixty four so you understand how the children is at work. Right. Um, RSI, CCI, you wait until the last five seconds of the purchase deadline to buy or sell. And you win. When you win, you make back all your profits and more. If you want to add it up faster, you can use your mind. You can use a calculator, your choice. All right, so here we would buy for two. Buy or sell for just two based on what the indicator is. If it's under the halfway line, you sell as a no. See, this one is under the halfway line both of them is and if it's over the halfway line you buy right understand that the traded method works by utilizing the simple fact of life that you cannot lose forever you will win as long as you keep trying and as long as you keep going with anything that you do you keep, will win but the hard part is sticking through the parts of not winning and everybody could do that not everybody has enough money to lose like this in a row. <laughs> but the idea is to prepare yourself and have everything you need so that when life throws things at you, you would be able to get out. And if, even if you don't have everything you need, it's crazy that you were granted everything you need from, needed from birth. You have everything you need right inside of you. It's not outside of you. It's not in the outward parts of life. I'm buying here for four. Everything you need is not out of you. It's already within you. God already prepared you for your journey. It is to understand that regardless of what you do, life still happens. So that means you're not in control of life. And if that applies to you, then that applies to every other human on this planet. Which means that life would happen regardless of whether we intervened or not. Which means that whatever's controlling this mechanism is out of our control and we're just a part of it like everything else and if everything else has a purpose and if everything else has a guide to becoming its best self then you also have a guide to becoming your best self anyways see that we won and here we made back a dollar and 57 cents plus our initial two dollars so here both indicators are up at the last five seconds of the purchase deadline so we buy right and it's okay to lose. Greatness, greatness, greatness is greater works than D shall lead to greater. Our ability to innovate and to change the way of our life. What's crazy is that when Adam and Eve got the the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, they didn't run and they didn't kill each other what they did was they started inventing <laughs> they made clothes for themselves how do they know how to make clothes who taught them how to make clothes who taught them what clothes were the knowledge of good and evil means the knowledge to create things that are good and to consider them good right they did something that wasn't bad but because they had the knowledge of good and evil, they thought their actions was bad. But they didn't do anything bad. They just created. Why are they, why are they afraid to show God that you can create as Him? Are you shy with your creations? 
think in that your creations are not worthy of being praised by the Lord. So to let the Lord say, Yes, you are my son and you did great. Instead, we create mediocre things. We don't manifest our ideas as gods. We don't. We honestly don't. Push yourself higher. Push yourself further as far as you can. Push yourself. Push yourself. God, this is how you feel. You're gonna die doing this. So how about you die fighting and you don't die alone and with all your regrets at your deathbed telling you that, hey, you knew that you only had one shot of this. Why were you playing around? School teacher just to get so comfortable. Bro, the thing that life would go on long as hell, but in reality, it's limited. Even if it's 60 years, I still have a limit. I'm still going to come to an end. And when you're at the end, you're going to feel as if you didn't have enough time, but you did have enough time. Every day you wake up, you have enough time. Every day. Right? God created heaven. The earth, everything, he made light, everything in a matter of seven full days, a completion, right? And it's to understand that when he mentioned one day, he said that one day with God is a thousand days for man, a thousand days for man. So if one day with God is a thousand days for man, and five days with God would mean that's five thousand days for man. So who are you to think you're supposed to take one day to achieve anything? Matter of fact, you will take a while to achieve anything. And you wouldn't be able to get it perfect on the first day. Neither on the second day. Neither on the third day. But 1,000 days in to whatever venture you're going into, 1,000 full days. And everything would be good. Oh, we sold here for nine. That was an accident. That was a misclick. I was playing with this. It's not a misclick. Everything has a better reason and a better purpose. It's to look for that better reason and that better purpose and move towards it. Hey. To understand that you're in control. Nobody but you in control. And regardless of whether you think you're not in control, you're still in control. And everything is good. Everything happens to a better reason and a better purpose. And everything is absolutely gorgeous. It's up to you though. Growth. Growth. All growth is necessary. But you have to want to grow. In every aspect of your life, you have to be willing to grow and be willing to receive the blessings only through knowledge. Only through the growth of your mind and the believing in yourself shall you actually grow as an individual being. Only through knowledge. You can only free your body through freeing your mind. That's the only way. Not through wanting to and hoping for it for years. You want to be freed mentally. You have to start educating your mind. You have to. You have to. You cannot be a dunce world leader. And you cannot expect people to look up to you. And you, you lack sense. It's not how it works. You have to become somebody worth listening to. Somebody who gives and grants ideas at, the, at his will. Somebody who solves problems with a few words. Somebody who doesn't speak often, who observes and then gives his two pence. Two pence. His peace, right? And in doing so, you have the ability to... Inspire a lot of people with your words. Or you can just be blabbering on about nonsense. Blabbering on about things you don't really understand. Never really trying to understand it. 
never really get in your mind to a place that you honestly understand who you are where you are and who you're going to become to constantly look at the past is a bad thing look towards the future look towards what makes you excited to live not what makes you sad to exist live to look towards what you will become and what your potential can reach and look as fine to the sky as you can as far as because whatever you tell your mind that is what your body does whatever your body does is what your mind does and they're locked in a constant infinite loop of telling each other what to do and who to be right and that loop is absolutely beautiful if you constantly feed that the book of the the book of the fruit of the good and evil that fruit right all it taught them was good and evil that's all that's all good or evil positive or negative and you see that god destroyed the world when man was constantly negative and perfection doesn't perfection does exist <coughs> but there's problems at that plane so how about this how about instead of good and or evil we focus on the good things the things that are good not the things in our life that are perfect we work on the things that are good because in working on the things that are good you're able to create the things that are perfect and in creating the things that are perfect you're able to recognize that it's just good that's all it is it's good everything that is made is good right and understanding the beauty of everything and the beauty of life is just so just so well put together by not a limited mind with an omnipotent mind that understands who it is and understands what it is and understands the entire universe as it is and is able to just manifest 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 out of the blue just out of out of nothing that is able to think and it's able to create right last 5 seconds both indicators are down we sell and we also think and we also create we create everything around us the storms coming it's a storm that has the power and the potential to wake up everything and everyone around it that rain that lightning that thunder the amount of thunder that would let people know that it's time to wake up it's time to stop living in this lie and it's time to realize that your potential arises to gods and nothing less time to time to move ahead time to look beyond look further look beyond what you are afraid to do because what you are afraid to do oh trust me buddy you can do a lot more if you really wanted to you can do a lot more if you really needed to if you really had the hunger as you said you did you would do it you would be able to eat everything and anything that comes your way and you wouldn't hesitate you're not yet hungry enough let life starve you let life keep everything from you until you get to where you need to be let life take everything from you until you become who you need to be and until life drains you of all the hopeless times of not being willing to change and not being willing to grow in order to become better you're going to be willing to eat you go going to be willing to consume of every aspect of your life not just of the food and not just of the water you drink <laughs> but of life itself and until you consume of that positivity and of that positive knowledge you will never grow that good energy that good vibe the type of energy that push you forward 
Push you as far forward as you can go, bro. But it's all up to you in order for you to go. It's all up to you and only you that would decide how far you go. Because the only limitation is a limitation you put up on yourselves. Not the limitation you grew up in, that's not to you. Not the community you're in, that's not to you. Not the people you surround yourself with, that's not to you. You are an individual. You are not a herd. You are not a group of people. You are one individual person. All your gifts are for you and all your gifts are to you. And every man to themselves has their own gifts granted to them by God. And that gift doesn't have a limit. That gift is everything and anything you want it to be any day of the week, any time of the month. All you have to do is ask for it. The gift to ask. The gift to look up to the sky and say, Father, you've seen me working and you've seen I've been working for a very long time. You've seen what I've put in, you've seen the work I've put in. And the Lord would reply to you like, yes, I've been with you through that entire process. And you're like, Father, I need the good right now. And he's like, no, when you need it, it will come. And like, Father, I need it right now. He's like, no, when you need it, it will come. And it's a matter of waiting. It's a matter of being patient. It's a matter of knowing nothing happens to you that's not supposed to happen to you. That in every aspect of your life, it is directed to being at one specific place at a specific time. Everything is perfectly aligned the way they should be. And the more you look for that alignment, is the more you will become aligned. And the more you believe you are aligned, is the more you will become aligned. And currently it's the fourth thing of it's 244 on my computer it's number four and it's double four my last loss was a four 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 forty and so you go down to two and we sell for two we go back to two all right and get it Ukalik, I have no idea what that means. Probably a cuss word. <laughs> the growth. You will see the see the the blossoms. You will see everything you need to see. You know. What trades has this been? We started at 1426 on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 minute video. That's nice. We ended on a win at 1442. This is Infinite Trading Method, part 28. This is the greatest. Infinite trading method on the planet, the only trading method you have ever do. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video, show your friends that there's knowledge and money out here that's worth being had. And you use the money to expound on your ideas, right? The money to grow, to grow as big as you can. Like, comment, subscribe. This has been your host, Shamway. GG.